My madam, Mrs. Njemanze is of the belief that attention is important in marriage, whether positive or negative. She equates love with attention and desire to get lots of it. She is determined to keep her husband's attention by ensuring there is confrontation whenever there is no romance. Why would you talk about before my friends and colleagues? Which friends? Those ones that wouldn't be friendly because of your money. Madam, watch your tongue. And what? Madam, I what will you do tongue. that you have not done watch before? Your what is the one that you want to do? Peace. Peace. Oh, you are ignoring me, right? So peace is not my rival. Unfortunately, I often find myself in the midst of a drama. Peace, you dare not. You dare not if you step your leg into my room. We have yourself to be blamed. Please, what are you asking me to take? Please. I mean, you wrote for me. I have to back for you. What nonsense is that? Oh, my love. Is it because of the little issue of face that is making you to be hungry? Please. Please, you are distracting from this man. Go down and watch it, please. Mm. So the TV is more important than me? At least for now, yes. And for the other side? She believes that her crafty manipulation is working in her favor. Do. And please, and I'm ready to give you attention. And please now, just, just forgive me, please. Please. In short, I'm, I'm in the mood already. Let just, please now, you know. <laughs> Your hand. Who told you something is wrong with my hand? Tell me, my boy. I saw when your guard twisted your hand when you were falling. I know it must have been painful. You are very observant, but that is the cause of love. It's better to have a twisted hand and save my marriage than to be complete and out of marriage. Madam, why is your girl always calling me with you? Naimno. Madam, please. I'm very sorry, but I know, I know you need your guys' attention, but there's a way Hey! What's the meaning of that? I often do my best to reason with her, to relate better with her husband, rather than aggravating him at me. Huh? Have you ever been married? No. no. So, you're not in the position to advise me. Go and get married and come back and tell me how to run my marriage. Let's get that from here. 
No. But she belittles me and my advice. My ogre could no longer take it. His emotional threshold seems to have been exceeded as it boils over. She reported her husband's maltreatment to her father, who involved the police. The man was negatively rocking my ogre's life. He has no choice but to madame into reasoning with her father to put an end to his harassment. Even if it takes showering her with gifts and attention that she so crave for. Yeah, even blame you on your lack of self-control. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you also need to help me. You need to. Stop embarrassing me for my friends and colleagues. Excuse this again. Never mind, don't worry. What if I send you on a trip to London? That's cheap. You know me. No problem. <laughs> hey, sorry, 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 sorry. But I know what to do. I can make it up to you. But can you promise me that you please speak to daddy to you got the case? Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's really painful. Sorry. My dear, you won't believe. He gives me her attention I need now. But what if it does irreparable damage to you? He cannot. I know how to handle him. I give him freedom for a while, but immediately slap or I strike again. Sophia, this is your method. In a twisted way, she believed that she was winning. She even boasts to her friend that her husband was responding appropriately to her method. Despite our injuries, you can see it again. <laughs> mm. Dokas, I know how to follow the approach and I know how to balance it. I'm doing it so that you don't look at any other woman. My dear, men, they are not like computer, you cannot predict them. So I just advise you to be prayerful, my dear. I'm prayerful and I'm also watchful. But Mr. Njemanzin wasn't responding appropriately as she claims. Rather, the method was taking his toll on his moral will. He not only gets angry without provocations, but has also developed the nasty habit of drinking to stupor. I wonder what I can do to save the situation before it boils over me. program on TV today, Decisions. It's a platform and a forum where real issues are deliberated on for real solutions. And what's a wonderful season to be doing this, the season of law. Okay, let me try my pidgin French by saying compliment de la season. Okay, I'll interpret it. Compliments of the season, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right, you're welcome to your program, Decisions. All right, and we'll be handling a very sensitive issue. It's we, it runs through the fabric of all society, more importantly, marriage, and that's the issue of love. But this time, there's a tag to it, odd love. Okay? Odd love. I won't be doing it alone. We have some wonderful guests on the studio with us today. And by the right, by my right, immediate right, or left. Okay, I think this is left. <laughs> we have a woman of God. Okay? Her profile is 
is amazing. Okay, she's no other person than Prophetess Mrs. Obari Ejiro Erika. Thank you. All right. Let's not forget, she's the General Overseer of Divine Grace Assembly, Orerupe, Delta State. Don't worry. Okay. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you. All right, man. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. We always have a balanced studio here, and to do justice to this course, all the love today, it's a reverend man of God, the person of Reverend Boomer George. Merry Christmas, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, his smile has told you the story. The Christmas is indeed Merry in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, how do you describe your marriage experience? Remember, you're a pastor, you're yeah. nothing but the truth. Yeah. So, describe your marriage experience. Um, marriage is um, a wonderful thing. Your marriage, sir. Yes, my marriage. <laughs> generally, generally, from general to specifics. Okay. And, uh, um, got married quite early uh -huh. at uh, 25. Whoa. Got married at 25. And for a few days ago, I said, Ah, my wife, you spoiled me. I don't even know how to go to the market. My God. <laughs> I from 25 years now, and uh, it's wonderful. Uh, normally, because you have two different people coming together, okay. there may be ups and downs, but as we progress in line, we know the differences and then work on. That's a beautiful yes. one, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Pastor, you're already progressing before me. Just mm -hmm. hold on there. <laughs> I like the thoughts of the ups and downs. All right, but let's deal with um, uh, protests in the house. Hey, Ma'am, I would also like to ask you the same question. Are you married? Yeah. Beautifully? Yeah. Proudly married? Yeah. For how long, ma'am? Six years. Whoa, that's a long time. My one is longer than your own past. That's why I'm Okay, all right. Man, I want to ask you a sensitive question. Okay. Remember, you're a prophetess. No lying, too. Okay. Of course, we don't tell lies here. Okay. All right, how would you describe your marriage? Uh, I would say it's good. 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 So you think your husband has found a good thing? Yes. Okay, we'll get to find that out. Now, <clears throat> I'd like to find out is there a need? For attention in the marriage, where there is need. You yeah, sure? Yes. Yeah. Sure, certainly. Okay. Um, it's uh, what makes the relationship tick. If the man doesn't want you, and uh, there is nothing exciting about you to the man, it means that. Uh, um, the marriage has a very big problem in the first instance. Okay, yes. okay, all right. I because even before you marry her, you always want to be by her. Okay. You want to hear her okay. and all the rest of them. Okay. And then she comes into the home now. These things are no longer there. Okay. That's a problem already. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay. So, as in unequivocally, you yes. agree that a woman needs attention? Yeah, right? sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. I like that, but that was, that was from a masculine point of view. Yeah. I'd like to hear from a woman herself. So. Now, what do you think? Does the wife really need attention? Uh, I, for one, I felt that everything about marriage is attention. Seriously? Everything okay. about marriage is attention. Okay. So, the woman needs attention. Okay. And a good attention. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Now, um, I like breaking down words. Hope you don't mind. Mm -hmm. So, what's attention in as simple as simple can be? What's what's your view? What's your take on attention? Um, there are things normally that uh, makes a woman feel wanted All right. and uh, chatting with her, for instance. Okay. Making a call over to her okay. and all the rest of them. Yeah. That is, is like an elixir, something that makes the relationship very, very sweet. Mm. And so, in a precise form, okay. that's what attention is all about. You just heard the Reverend Pastor. Mm. Attention, something that makes the relationship very sweet. And who doesn't like sweet? Oh, Are you allergic to sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I know you are definitely not. Okay, I know. Uh, Mark, can I ask you another question? Yeah. Have you been shown attention in marriage? Yes. You're sure? Yeah. Okay, now, uh, good attention, I guess. Yes. Okay, from your own view, how best do you think a man can give attention to his wife? Uh, just, daddy said something just now. Uh, Say calling. Okay. The, if you want to give that proper attention per se, right. you need to be sincere okay. with your wife. Okay. And you should be there. Okay. 
because sometimes you can tell your wife the truth, but you are not there for her. Right. So those words are all apart. Okay. So you, as a person, you should learn to be there at all times. Okay. Calling, even if you are at home, make sure you make her know that you are at home. Because sometimes you are, some men will be at home, they are not at home. Okay. So when you are at home, let mom know that you are there. Okay. All right. Well, wow, that's a nice one. Sir, I didn't, you didn't struggle with what she just said now. That means you're in agreement with you. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. But me, there's something that, that ticks my ears and tickles my fancy now. Our four mothers and our four aunties, mm -hmm. there was no GSM. They couldn't call. So does it doesn't mean that they didn't have attention in their marriages. They do, but uh, that was supposed to make you laugh. Actually, yes, certainly. <laughs> they, uh, uh, but this uh, means of communication, where they, they they have a way of uh, expressing that. Okay. Uh, in those days, and uh, maybe uh, a, a man will be at a particular point. He feels she's supposed to be uh, at home, okay. and then he has not seen her. Okay. He will hear him call the wife. Maybe in those days they don't have pet names like that name or name. Mama Junior. <laughs> well, I, is she not at home? And all the rest of it. He expects that by that time she ought to have come back, either from farm or market and all the rest of she's not. So that's the kind of thing. Oh, and if anybody, any of her children at home that uh, knows that she's not at home, will go back and tell daddy that, oh, mom is not at home. But as soon as she comes back, before she steps into the house, right. they will tell her that, look, oh, <laughs> daddy has been calling and they want this right. one. So it means that she knows that ah, her husband has missed her these uh, few hours or minutes and then he needed her attention. So that's what makes my <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. That, that's really insightful and awesome. Okay, I think we're really going to get into this integrity of it. The second half of the program, but before we go, I just want to find out something. Please, ma, do you think there are secrets for a successful marriage? I don't think so. Like seriously, no secrets. So, so marriage is an open book. Yes. Okay, sir. Are you? Well, I I would not. I would disagree because uh, there is the being that established marriage, and then he has his own perception about marriage okay. so if we want to get the best of marriage it is important that we must know what is behind what he has created okay. and then this become the tools we will use to drive the marriage to get the best of uh, our no relationship what well, if you say there's no secret it means that it is known by everybody, everybody okay. uh, if, if, if there's secret it means that you have to pay the price to know it, apply it to get the best out of it. Wonderful. I'll take you up on the price. Yeah. You for the seven naira per liter or what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the man manufacturer's uh, All right. manual. To okay, get... okay. Yeah. I, uh, it's been awesome here in the studio. The first time of it. I want to say thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Prophetess, it's for your uh, insight. Our viewers, uh, we'll be right back. The end justifies the means. I think wisdom is about strategy. She's putting strategies to get her husband's attention. Is there anything wrong with that? To the man. That means that she will drive him crazy if he continues <laughs> like that. And eventually, the man will say, ah, where do I go from this uh, kind of difficult woman? You find out that even when you are not there, he secured himself for you. But when you push him, there are many people out there that are ready to grab him. So you just need to play your role for the fear. Compliment of the season again. You're welcome back to the session. All right, and today we're dealing with Odlo. That reminds me, my name is not Odlo. I'm your host, Yuri Fidel. <laughs> I still have in the studio Reverend Boma George. Thank you're you. welcome once again, sir. Thank you very much. And you enjoy yourself. All right, things are and prophetess Obari in Jewelry, Erika. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Okay, ma, um, just before we went out, I think I I twisted the question. I want, I want to make it clear. I, what are the secrets for a successful marriage in one breath? So, it should be no secret, 
and between them, they should not hide anything from each other. Honesty and openness. Yes, they should be okay. open to one another. All right. Sincere. Okay. 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 That's a beautiful one. It wasn't enough for the, for the wise to say. Okay. I. She just uh, talked about sincerity. I think somewhere in the Bible, not Quran, it said that they were both naked and not yeah. ashamed. Yeah. Okay, so that nails it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, uh, sir. Now, at the, in this segment, we are going to be dealing with the particular uh, drama piece we just saw. Uh, now, for the record, these things are real. Matter of fact, that story is real. We want sure. to help the Indian man. Right. But I want you to help me do a project. Where do you see this marriage heading, sir? It's obvious that uh, very, very soon the marriage will crash. If not, uh, if the uh, two persons involved in this relationship do not do what is right. I, I'll give you a scripture. Okay. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1 says, right. Every wise woman, yeah, because from the thing we have watched, yeah. The focus is actually on the woman. Okay. Every wise woman builds her house, okay. but the foolish plucked it down with her hands. Oh my God. So her actions will eventually make this relationship to crash. Okay. Yeah, because uh, she needed attention he gave to her to some extent. But right. all she's looking for, because she's, he gave her a ticket to go to London. Okay. She said that is too cheap. So that means he has been doing something, <laughs> something even greater than, than that. that before. And right. uh, she knows the resources available to the man. That means that she will drive him crazy if he continues <laughs> like that. And eventually the man will say, ah, where do I go from this uh, kind of difficult woman? Beautiful answer, sir. Okay. So you, in your own words, she's just expressing gratitude. Uh, yeah, to a large extent. Yeah, to a large extent. extent. Yes. Okay. But something else now. I think this woman is actually wise. Sorry, ma'am. I think it doesn't mean I'm right. Okay. Now, um, um, someone said the end justifies the means. Mm -hmm. I think wisdom is about strategy. Mm -hmm. She's putting strategies to get her husband's attention. Is there anything <laughs> wrong with that? Uh, wisdom is profitable to direct. Okay. For I, for one, the the method that she is using yeah. is wrong. Okay. I would say it is no go area. Okay. The confrontational method. All right. That one will just pieces the house. Okay. Confrontation in the first place is not a friendly thing. Okay. 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 So in, she, in fact, in Matthew chapter twenty-five, yes. the two uh, dividing line or dividing line between the five virgins are the foolish and the wise is simply that. The wise, they know what to do, mm. and they did, and they got the required result. Mm. What was the whole process all about? They wanted to enter into the party with the groom. Mm. So they provided for themselves extra oil, oh. just in case there's delay. Mm. So what this woman is simply doing simply means that she's foolish. She's foolish. Oh. Very, very foolish. <laughs> she, if she knows what to do, okay. she ought to do it to get the right Result. Okay. And what she's doing now is to extract as much as possible what she can get from the man. Right. And then she'll begin to operate. The man will begin now move from his leadership position and begin to take instructions from the woman, which is absolutely out and totally place. out of place. That's not what God said it should be. Because the man is not just the man of the home, he's actually the leader of that relationship. Wow. Oh, she needs to yeah. possess a good quality okay because that confrontational method is far from it all right there are characters there are things needed in marriage would like to know that, that. maybe the cooking okay the love okay and the caring aspect okay that when those ones come to play you'll find out that all this area will not be seen they will remain silent all right because okay. this a way you talk to a man without talking you find out that you pass the message across. across. Right. It depends on how you want your home to be. Okay. And I think that every woman with her right senses should know that she should have a peaceful home. Mm. You cannot say you are a Christian and every day you fight and quarrel in your home. Mm. So as a Christian, we should just fall back to the book of Proverbs 31 that talks about the virtuous, virtuous woman. woman. We should live life as a virtuous woman. A woman that needed to be honored because there's a way you live with your husband. You find out that even when you are not there, he secured himself for you. Wow. Wow. But when you push him, there are many people out there that are ready to grab him. Okay. So you just need to 
play your role wow. for the fear of God. Wow. wow, that's awesome. That's amazing. So I know you don't have any fight with that response, right? No, no. All I'm, uh, all, what I want to add is that uh, what was coming up uh, is a function of how her actions are creating problems and frictions in, in the home, yeah. and then day by day it is degenerating. Okay. And, and then eventually, what we don't expect is what will eventually happen. Okay, all right. Now, this, 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 I, I really want to stand behind the man and take responsibility. Yeah. Now, we are shifting all the blames to the woman right yeah. now. Does he have a role to play here to Oh, yeah, certainly. To salvage this marriage? Sure, sure. You know, what, are, what, what can he do? Uh, number one, we, before you say, I want to marry this woman, all right. there were a lot of women around. Okay. There are one or two things that endears that woman to you. And he said, of all the lots, I don't want. This is one that I want to believe God for. If God approves, I move ahead. Like you did with your wife. Yes, certainly. Okay. So, so there are things about this woman. Okay. Maybe um, the way she speaks. Okay. Maybe the attention she gives to you. Okay. It creates room for you to speak with her. Talk it over. Talk it over. Talk it over. Okay, so basically you are saying the man should uh, think of better ways to communicate Fine. with the wife. Fine. That's beautiful. Fine. All right, but before, before we leave today, there is someone who seems to be the silent guest in this house. We've yeah. not talked about her. Yes. That's the housemaid. Yes. Is, is, is her place in that home still safe? What would you, what would you do uh, if you were a silent observer and you are advising both couples? What would you do with her? In the first place, uh, the level of spirituality of the husband okay. is very vital. Right. You know? and, uh, but as it is, the man has gone into taking the things it's that will really influence him negatively. Okay. At this point, it's no longer safe. safe. Because right. what we saw on that clip is that he drank and he didn't even know what was going all around him. Okay. So why, she would always have her way if she wanted to have her way. And eventually, mm -hmm. She would say, ah, we did this, ah, I didn't know, but it has been done. Okay, so in your, in your opinion, in your yes, opinion, no opinion she it's not to totally leave. safe. She's not safe at all. Right. She has to leave. Okay, me, I love a win-win, all right? Although I have my opinion, but my opinion is not all that count right now. We're all doing this together. Thank you very much, sir. Ma, before we leave, I would like, just in one breath, your advice to couples in this situation. One breath. I'll say, she sits up and make sure they give their husband the best. Okay. And the men, too, they still have a role to play. Okay. They should show their wife love. Okay. And so that the family will look, and people will see, not just look, and people will see Christ in their various home. Oh, thank you very much, man. That's amazing. Sir, I'll yes. buy us here, please, a romantic advice to the husbands that are listening to you. <laughs> Every man knows the soft spot of the wife, so <laughs> capitalize on that right. and then pass your message across to her. Okay. I think added with uh, prayers okay. as a child of God, I think it will bring about a change in that uh, situation. Wow, thank you. What an awesome time with these wonderful people on set today. Pastor I want to say thank you very much. You're okay, and brothers, thank you very much. I, viewers, it's been a long day and a beautiful one. I believe we've learned a thing or two. But like I said, this forum is not complete without your input. Please feed us back. Watch us on YouTube, our Twitter handle, Facebook, and all the social media platforms. Get back to us. All right? Uh, what is it is enough otherwise. Endeavor to bring peace and unity in your homes. And I trust God to bless us. Compliments of the season. I'm your host. Yeah.